Hi, welcome to our latest video, where we'll turn our attention to laminar flow hoods. So, if you find yourself in this situation, I'm looking for a laminar flow hood, but I'm a bit confused about the horizontal and vertical versions. Keep watching as I outline the differences. A laminar flow hood is essential for maintaining a clean, particle-free environment for your work. This is crucial in many scientific applications to protect both your sensitive projects and yourself from contaminants. Got it. So, what's the main difference between horizontal and vertical? Great question. The main difference is the direction of the airflow. In a vertical laminar flow hood, air is filtered from the top and flows downward through the workspace. While in a horizontal laminar flow hood, air is filtered from the back and flows horizontally across the workspace. OK, I think I get it. It's OK, I know it still sounds a bit confusing, but seeing it in action should help. So imagine we've just sliced the hood in half. This is a vertical laminar flow version. The red arrow shows where air is drawn in from the top through a pre-filter, passes through a high-efficiency HEPA filter, and then flows vertically down to the workbench. About half of the air volume is exhausted outside while the rest is recirculated through slots at the bottom of the back panel. Right, I see. And what are the benefits of the vertical version? Vertical laminar flow hoods are great for applications using large, bulky equipment or handling powders. The vertical airflow prevents materials from being blown directly towards you, which is crucial when working with sensitive or hazardous materials. That's great. And horizontal? Well, let's do the same for that version. So, we've now sliced the horizontal flow hood in half. Again, the red arrow shows where air is drawn in from the top. It then passes through a pre-filter and a HEPA filter at the back of the unit, and then flows horizontally across the work area before being exhausted out the front opening. That's great. Seeing it visually really makes the difference clear. And the benefits of the horizontal version? Well, they are ideal for simpler tasks that don't involve hazardous materials, but still require a clean environment. So they're perfect for things like tissue culturing, media plating, and small electronic inspections. So, when deciding between the two, consider the nature of your work. If you're dealing with large equipment or powders, the vertical version is the way to go. For straightforward, contamination-sensitive tasks, the horizontal version will do the job. Both will maintain a clean environment, but your specific needs will determine which is best for you. That makes sense. Thanks for explaining. It's a lot clearer now. I hope you found this useful. If you would like further information on any of the products our experts would be more than happy to help, just visit the website at fasteraircouk Thanks for watching.